What's going on YouTube? Thank you for stopping by on the Mondo PC Tech Talk. Today I'm going to give you a long time review of the microphone plug and play by this brand called DSCHLZY. I can't pronounce it, but we're just going to roll with it. Alright, this is a microphone kit, which it comes with a microphone and the filter. Um, the also the filter that goes over the microphone is a professional sound chipset that's inside the microphone itself the sampling rate is 192 kilohertz and 24 bit it's low noise and it's a multi-system capability and like I tell you there's a sound chip in there it comes with a USB cord that goes inside the microphone and also goes inside your computer and also when you plug it inside your computer uh, it doesn't take much to set up computers should be able to recognize it but if it doesn't all you have to do is go down to your search bar on the left um, bottom corner right by the start menu and just type in sound and once you type in sound it should take you to the sound settings and from the sound settings you should be able to reach your microphone and change the the amplify settings on your microphone because it may um, pick up it might echo because the frequency is too high so you might have to bring the frequency sound like to the middle or just test it out to see where it more comfortable sound for you and the environment that you're in because the environment does plays a part of your recording because if you're in a room that when you talk it echoes from the wall it may pick it up inside the microphone even though there's a filter on it that helps it stops from picking up echoes that's bouncing off the wall so you have to figure out your surroundings and um, how good the sound you want it to be when you're recording so now I'm gonna get into the likes about it the first thing I like about it is that it's very flexible you can move it around you can put it on any surface you okay as long as there's like a spot where you can um, hook up the, uh, the screw it's at the bottom of the the arm you can hook it up to it and just turn the knobs and it'll tighten up and it's nice and set you can you can move around you can stand up with it you can make it shorter or longer and the microphone pretty much stays in place it doesn't really move around as much but you will have to find out where's the loud area of the microphone where's the low area sound of the microphone and it's very easy to hook up it's not much to you know it sounds good I was able to do voiceovers on a couple of auditions that I have done for um, for books as a narrator and also a voiceover as a comic book uh, reader it doesn't pick up too much sound uh, also the sound quality is very good you can amplify it up you can use the equalizer to make it much deeper or the crispier the sound and it doesn't it doesn't do anything um, really awesome but for the price it's very good um, there's other microphones that's out there that that does want wonders and you know you get better quality of sound and better quality of the uh, the sound bite of it even though this is a 24 sound sound bite, which is good but there are more that's actually does it a lot better so you you can change the sound inside a a sound audio or something like that so I don't know I, I think this is a pretty cool microphone now some of the things that I did not like about the microphone is that there is no on or off button on the microphone itself. I don't know why they did not put that on the microphone but it would be nice if they had it on it. Because most of the time I would have to actually 
take the plug out just to make sure that I'm not being recorded or anything that's like that. So then I had to plug it right back in order to to get the microphone working again, which doesn't take the computer um, too long to recognize. Like as soon as I plug it in there, it my computer it recognizes it. So and also um, another thing that I didn't like about it is that when you're trying to adjust the microphone itself, like the whole area with the arm with the short arm there's like two screws there's one on the arm and one that's right on the microphone mount itself if you want to adjust it's not easy or quickly to adjust you will have to stop what you're reading or stop what you're doing press pause and then adjust using the screws because if you try to adjust while you're trying to read it's not going to adjust as smoothly and that's pretty much it i mean i really didn't have much to say negative about it but so so far i've been using on most of my videos and voiceovers and also a narrator and i will give you a probably like a minute um snippet of one of my auditions that i have done then you can judge it for yourself um if the microphone is good or not but um Without further ado, I'm going to play the sound clipping and then I'll be back. Alright, this audition for the last train to Christmas. Murrow days before Christmas. Rocky is devastated that his wife left him and decades to drown his sorrows at the local salon. He had no idea when he stepped in through the door that he would be a witness to two shootings within minutes of each other, or intended the third victim. Rocky is sure that he's about to meet his maker when a stranger step in and in of the one-sided gunfight. Eager to repay the stranger for saving his life, Rocky is tricked by Harry Plunkett into helping locate a lone lost cousin. Unknowingly, Rocky leads Plankett to the person whom the stranger is intended to average the wrongful death of his father, a woman named Annie Oak Whitley. Alright, I'm back. So, I hope you enjoyed that audition and thank you for stopping by. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and please subscribe if you want to see more videos and remember to hit the bell all right okay thank you for stopping and have a great great week and i'll see you next time on the next video peace